Hi, this is I can Welcome back to my channel. Um, originally, I was going to take a page out of uh, the Bruce Hilton uh, playbook and film this in the bathroom, me sitting in the toilet. Uh, but, uh, second thoughts. Uh, well, you're probably saying, why do I be doing something crazy like that? Well, Basically, I think uh, the leadership of China, how they're dealing with the situation in Hong Kong, would warrant something like that. Oh, and by the way, hi, hi Perez. Anyway, this stuff with, Ch with China and Hong Kong, you have to go back to 1997 or before when the Brits used to own control of Hong Kong and they did an agreement with China but sometime in 1997 they were supposed to turn over control from Britain to um, China but in that in that agreement they're supposed to China's supposed to respect Hong Kong's sovereignty until 2047. Now, I look at my calendar. It says October 2019. So what is it reason for them to be jumping the gun? Um, I don't know. I think it has something to do with something they did earlier with some legislation that they wanted to prosecute people for crimes in Hong Kong in mainland China, which flopped badly like a like a fish out of water. But the protests continue to go on and on and on. And uh, for the record, I only own one share in the company in China, so I'm not worried about my financial situation. It's only one lousy share, so... That's a disclosure I have to put in, just in case. China says, oh, look at him, he's talking to that, but uh, he's, he got money in, 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 in our market. Yeah, that's the only share I have. So, if you don't like it, take that paper, fry it with your, with your food and eat it, okay? Anyway, I don't know why the, the leadership is jumping the gun. I mean, are they trying to file like what Andrew Cuomo said to the uh, NTA? Oh, I want to see the updated single system up and running in my lifetime before I die. So, is this the same situation happening in China right now? Did the leadership want to see that the process... So he can claim before he dies, hey, I did this to Hong Kong. King, king me, king me. I made a great accomplishment. Uh, mm. It says 2047, and you're doing this in 2019. Why is there a rush? I mean, okay, I know somebody called you into the pool, dude, but uh, this is not going to erase that, that ridiculous remark somebody said. I'm surprised you don't get wrong with out of that. You know, when you pool? I mean, it's not like you did that on purpose. It's, hey, if you walk like that, what can you do? But you shouldn't be taking it out of Hong Kong. They can yell and scream and do what they want because by 2047, that's when you're supposed to have control and do that. Not 2019. You have a piece of paper that says 2047, why are you jumping the gun? It's like New York City Transit jumping the gun in, 19, in uh, 2005 with the Yato thing on the airline. Oh, they got the CBDC, they add the Yato, they have a full-length train, and say, oh, 
We know there's a 300 foot rule in the, in the books, but we choose to ignore it. It's just like China did with Hong Kong. But guess what? God created rules. Did you negotiate it to get rid of this rule? No. Oh, you had 300 negotiations. You didn't do anything to get rid of it. So guess what? I'm going to get rid of you after. So by the spring of 2006, bye-bye. Gone. So apparently China doesn't seem to understand. If you agree to something, it's written in paper. You're supposed to honor it. So I don't understand their uh, logic here in this situation. So, as far as the protest is I'm concerned, normally I would be saying something about it, but if they're thinking the same thing I'm thinking, that, hey, you're not supposed to do this to 2047, and you're doing this now, I don't blame them for doing what they're doing. You know, you're stumping on their rights. That's as simple as that. You're stumping on their rights for no reason. You can't wait to 2047. That's not my problem. It's not like you're having diarrhea and you have to run to the toilet, dude. That's what I'm saying to the leadership of China. You're not, it's not like you're about to have diarrhea. Okay? You can wait to 2047. If you can't, that's not my problem. That's your problem. And... As long as uh, that paperwork is intact, you should be honoring it. Take your lumps and deal with it. If you don't like what they're doing, that's not our problem. That's your problem. They have a right to protest. They have a right to free speech. They have a right to everything. Because it's in the paperwork. You seem to forget that. When you signed that paper in the 90s to turn Hong Kong to you, you're supposed to respect that sovereignty until it runs out in 2047. It didn't say 2019. It didn't say anytime you feel like it. It said 2047. If I'm not mistaken, that's the date. We're not near 2047. So, as for the uh, Houston Rocket owners, um, I know you don't want to lose that that market in China, but at the same time, you know, the NBA should have came up with ground rules before those individuals were protesting with the signs and you kicked them out. You should have came up with ground rules and say, well, <clears throat> if you have them up, we're going to ask you to put them down or you have to leave. Not wait to the game game day to do that. Because then that was too late to do that. <clears throat> so, and then you get LeBron James in trouble trying to help you out. And what's happening his jerseys are getting burned in Hong Kong. Yeah, way to go, NBA. You know better than New York City Transit. So, my suggestion to the leadership of uh, China, they should back off. They should stop. Let cool heads bail, and the protesters will stop. But if you keep pursuing them, I'm not going to blame for them continuing doing what they're doing. You know, it's going to cost you more in the, in, the, in the end for nothing. It's not Tiananmen Square where you just roll your tanks and that was it. Mm-mm. This is a whole different bowl of wax, dude. 
So uh, this is how I can say until long for now. Don't forget to stop. And I support a free Hong Kong, whether Chinese like it or not.